This is the second exercise in InDesign you'll be doing. What this is, is using InDesign to a specific thing. We're going to make a small A5, very unattractive ad, but it's not about the design of this. It's what it's setting it up to a specific size and in placing images and things like that. So here's a PDF that you'll be able to download, which is this, and on that PDF has also got the instructions on how to do it. Okay, don't necessarily have to do them in this order, but it does show you with screenshots and things as to where things are. Okay, so if you get access to this PDF, which you will, off we go. So this one is just InDesign. We want a new document. Okay, this one's A5. We're working in. We don't want facing pages. It's just a one-off. And we're going to have a margin of 10 mil all the way around. So you can see that here. That's this one. We won't have bleed and slug and things like that in this one. So it's A5 no facing pages, off we go. That'll give us a document similar to what we're trying to make. So what you're really trying to do, and as you know, you've got your hide guides down here, okay? So when the show guides is on, or view, um, you've got this pink guide around the outside. So all we wanna do is build the boxes as to where our content is going to go. So using, remember this one is an empty box, this is a filled box, it doesn't matter which one you use. So this box here, I'm gonna draw a box in there, and that's vaguely where my pitch is going to go. The next box here, my heading is going to go in here. We're still following the vague layout. This one here, there'll be text here. Okay, there's a small box here. Okay, for the call to action, and one here for the logo. So, pretty much, if I hide the guides, you'll see nothing. Okay, but showing the guides, that's what it is. So, we've got all these boxes here that we can select. If you click on this one, okay. You know all this stuff with the fill swatches, you can fill that various colors. You can do stroke various colors, change the stroke width. Okay, so it's really simple just playing around with what it does. Okay, so we've got the general layout of what we're going to do. We've, and we've just got a place to go through. We've got, there'll be images for you to download. So this top box, I'm going to click on this top box and go File, Place. Navigate through to where you've got that image saved. You'll have it saved somewhere. Okay, so this is my picture here. Okay, so open, and that is going to place in to the picture. So what that's done is placed it in from the top left-hand corner. So this circle in the middle, okay, that will give you selection of the whole image. All right, this selection tool moves the image. The direct selection tool will move the image inside of the box. So what you want to do is have your box in the right spot. Okay, you can scale right down click on the image down here okay hold that image and that will come up to that you would have done this with the first tutorial so I'm a bit confident that you'll sort of know this stuff so that's your image in here so you can kind of see I can move that around to crop that off we go this would we'll maybe well do all the images while we're here this one there's going to be a logo in the bottom so click on this box if you click on the box and you can't select it just drag a mouse over and it would do it so file place okay up here once it's selected Go to, we've got a logo here for example, this is an Illustrator file, so go open and that will put it into the box. Another good trick to it, if you right click on that box and if you say fitting, fitting, fit content proportion, fit frame, fit content proportionally, that will bring the logo down to where it is. And just a small trick, once you've done this, when InDesign pastes things in, it pastes it in as like a screen resolution. If you right click on that and say Display performance high. If it is a high quality photo, it will make it clearer. So all we've done is we've drawn a bunch of boxes, we've gone file place, and we've put our images in. The next thing, we want this box, but we don't want to place an image this time, we want to do text. So if you click on the text tool in the tool palette here, okay, click on the text tool, click on that, and as you can see now, that's just a text thing. So we're going to just call that whatever we want to do that. It's just pure text. Up here is all your elements for this one. So click on the A. Okay, this is point size. You would have done all this with the initial tut tutorial, but still, there's this one. You've got font. You've got all we're going to use. Okay, we'll just use this font for now. We're going to center that. We might make it colored. Okay, so just simple as all you're doing is just you can select this text. You can make it bigger, smaller. Okay, that's using all your text type up here. All right. Next one, this we want text in this double thing here. So I'm going to click on that, and that's a text thing now. What we want to do this time, this isn't in the 
the sheet, but just if you just listen now, under the type drop down menu at the top of the screen, fill with placeholder text, and that will just give you dummy text or lorem ipsum. So it's very helpful when you need text. So we're going to just move that box around, select all that text. What we want to do now, this is perfect. We might just change the font just to a simple one. Yeah, just to Helvetica. Okay, change the size. Just a little bit more text in that document. Okay, so we've just got a, some text in there. One thing we want this to be two columns. So with that selected as a text tool, okay, this is paragraph related here now. So under the A, we've got the paragraph formatting, and here we've got columns. And you can see here, number of columns, two, three, four, five. You can keep going and going, but we just want two columns. Okay, so that will split that into two columns. The next thing, we just want a little call to action. This is all dummy text, so we don't need to be real text. In this bottom box, click in that with the text tool. Okay, this is where the address is going to be. And this one, because it's an address, this will be bold. Okay. So that's how, and if I click my preview thing, it starts to look quite good. Okay. W on your keyboard will do the same thing. But so if I hit in work mode, you can see the guides, you can see where things are. Okay. But at the end of the day, all you're doing is drawing boxes placing a picture into a box, text into the other box, and then going through, and just making sure that things like that. There's, you'll learn a lot more down the track, but this is just to the, getting the general gist of it. So based on our little thing now, we want a color behind it. So really simply, just do a big box. Okay, I've just clicked on the, the box tool, drawn a box, okay, and make that the ugliest blue you can. Right click on that one, arrange, center back so it started as I said this is not a good looking ad it's just showing you how it works okay if that was if we were going to use that blue we might make that text white so click on that click on this one that's white okay lots of things you can do with that the next thing in our exercise is this picture has a white border around the outside so I'm going to click on this picture with this one it's the selection tool and with this one we want to use white over here okay so I've got that selected I've got the the border thing to the front, I want that to be white. We don't have white with computers, we have paper. And make that, thicken that border up so it looks like it's a, a thicker border. And the last thing, there's a pre-formatted drop shadow one there. So if I click on that, it will just give you a drop shadow. Sometimes it's too thick. But next to that, where it says FX, open up the actual drop shadow window, and you can just, it'll open this window, preview open, and you can just change that. And you can see on the fly here, how it's moving. You can make it a little lighter, a bit less transparent. Okay, so we, but now that's done, we might move this stuff around a bit, down a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty much all, that's that's InDesign setting something to a, a specific size. Okay, so you've got this down here, then you move things around a bit, then you might want to play around with this a bit. The first paragraph might be bold italic. There's all sorts of things you can do, but we're not so much in the design just yet. We're just getting the gist of how that works. Okay, so that's how you set up a document in InDesign.